Today, Jetstar has launched a customer service charter. The first question is, why have you seen the need to do that, Bruce? We're passionate about our customers and we think this is a great time for us after the work we've done over the last 12 months now to get out and make an external commitment to our customers and demonstrate that we genuinely care. Can you give us some idea what's in the charter? Well, the charter covers off what we think are 10 basic fundamentals of good customer service and it's about ensuring to customers that a low fare doesn't necessarily mean a trade-off in good customer service. How will the customer service charter help your customers when something inevitably doesn't go to plan? But when things do go wrong, we want to make sure that we deal with customers in a caring way and demonstrate to them all the things that we think are the basics of good customer service, whether that's ability to contact us, get information from us, uh, deal with us in a friendly and professional way. This is about laying out the basics of that. For instance, how will it help somebody whose flight has been cancelled? Well, it's about a commitment that we're making to you to keep you informed and treat you with respect and make sure that you understand what's going to happen and you understand the options that you've got available to you. Some people would say it's a bit unusual for a low-cost carrier to be worried so much about customer service. We don't think there needs to be a trade-off between offering the lowest fares in the Australian marketplace and offering the best service. And this is about ensuring to customers that we think these are the basic service items that people should expect when they travel on any airline. Uh, there are some cynics who will say, uh, is this uh, just window dressing? Is it not customer service but lip service? It's absolutely not. It's a fundamental commitment from Jetstar to all our customers to demonstrate that we genuinely care about them and we're not trading off and we do not believe there needs to be a trade-off between what is the lowest fare provider of fares in Australia and what we think today and we're demonstrating very clearly has been a service commitment, a service guarantee to our customers. And finally, how are you going to instill in both your frontline troops and your back office people how important this is to your future? Well, I think if we step back in this business and look at what we've achieved over the last five to six years, where people said we couldn't do a lot of things, we've been able to achieve amazing things. And we've won awards for the airline, for our cabin crew, for the business as a whole. And I think we've achieved things that people said could never be done. And have we got it all right? Absolutely not. We're humble enough to say that we can actually do a lot better and we absolutely passionately believe we can do better and this is a visible commitment we're making today to say this is what our customers have a right to expect from us. A low fares airline and guaranteeing the lowest fares in the marketplace doesn't mean we're not going to deliver against good service and this is our visible demonstration to our customers that we genuinely care. Can you give us some idea what are the 10 key points in your customer service charter? Our customer service charter is not only what our customers expect of us, but also what we expect of ourselves. And like any other airline, we always put safety as our first priority. And you know, if there's a technical issue with an aircraft, we're always going to err on the side of safety. And you know, we we always need to call that absolutely key to our business. Uh, and you know, I think that's something that customers would expect. So we think we can combine the best of both worlds where we bring together a service guarantee with a low fares guarantee and we give people the confidence of what to expect when they travel on Jetstar. We will be here if you need us, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. If you need us, we'll be here and a decision maker will be available. The fourth one's about what happens if we need to reschedule your flight before you travel. And it's about openly giving you information and options so you can make the decisions. The next one's about if things don't go as planned, what's our commitment to you? It's about our commitment to offer you alternative travel arrangements and to give you information, to put you in control. Also getting what you pay for. Seems like a simple thing, but we think it's a pretty basic commitment. How we'll deal with your issues or problems should they arise. And we understand that you expect someone to be able to answer your problem and deal with it and give you the options in a timely manner and we commit to get back to you and deal with your problem quickly and not to fob you off. Jetstar takes its commitment on the environment seriously. We've led the way in carbon offset programs. We've led the way in terms of saving billions of litres of water through our voluntary offset program. And we think you, as any normal customer would, has an expectation as us as a modern airline to do everything we can to protect the environment. And finally, our last commitment is about protecting the privacy of your personal information. Over and above all these commitments, we're putting a financial penalty on us should we not be able to deliver against any of these commitments. It's really about putting our money where our mouth is.